Well, first, first of all, I'm, I'm happy for his family, especially his mother, Sharita, his uh, father, Chris Sr., and his little sister, Corey. I know this has been an arduous process uh, to get to this point, but as, as we progress with this with Chris, um, and I can't say enough about Qantas White, who is the uh, point person uh, for Chris, being able to lay the groundwork, uh, <clears throat> get all the behind the scenes stuff done, the hours and hours of evaluation and going to see Chris play all over the country. But just as Chris chose us, we chose him too. Um, and I think it's important to know uh, how, Im how important Chris's family is in this and supported him uh, every step of the way. He's got a great mother in Sharita, tremendous father, Chris. His little sister, Corey, again, are, were all important in this decision for him. Um, but we're excited about Chris. We think he has the chance to uh, really improve and get better and reach all of his goals and dreams. Uh, he was very consistent about what he was looking for from day one. He wanted to go somewhere where he was going to get challenged and pushed and be the best he can be. And, uh, and I think that's why he chose Houston, and uh, we're excited that he's here, and I can't wait to start working with him uh, uh, in the summer. Boring. Awesome. Well, you Appreciate talked a lot it, about the recruiting process with him. Uh, I'm sorry, Chris. Go ahead. Do you want to say anything else to Coach before we ask him a few questions about you? <laughs> no, nah, I was just thanking him. I mean, his, him recruiting me uh, since the beginning for like almost everyone, so just want to thank him a lot. I'm ready to work. I'm ready yeah. to get better. I can't wait. And he's to, funny. Uh, yeah. No. Chris is, um, uh, I think, a coach's dream. He's, uh, he wants to be good. He's got the talent. He's got the drive. Uh, now let's put the time and effort and purposeful work in. Let's see how good, and let's see how far we can take this. I mean, we're all excited. Our whole sure. staff. My whole staff sure. is sitting here by me, so they're just as excited <laughs> as I am. Well, we love to hear the excitement. Um, Coach, what is it specifically maybe on the court that captured your attention with Chris during the recruiting process? Uh, I think his versatility. I, I don't, you know, Chris isn't really a center. Uh, he's a basketball player more than he's a position player. Um, you know, we like the fact that he can stretch the floor with the three ball. We also like the fact that he can pass it and make his teammates better. Um, but the areas of his game that he needs to improve on are the, the things that, that I think that um, you know we've been pretty good at here, whether it's with Jarris Walker or, or Jamal Shedd, Quentin Grimes, um, Marcus Sasser. We've had a lot of driven kids that's been drafted into the uh, uh, NBA, and I see uh, Chris as one of those guys. Now, before he gets to the NBA, how do you see him impacting your team next season? Well. We're, we're, we're going to lose uh, uh, some key seniors, um, especially our starting uh, four-man in um, uh, J1 Roberts. Uh, we think Chris can come in here and be a versatile big, uh, help us stretch, stretch the floor with his three-point shooting, um, bang the boards and rebound, um, be a shot blocker. And be complete. You know, we're not going to plug him in one area. We're going to use him all over the floor. But I think his greatest strength right now is his skill set and his versatility. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again uh, for joining us. Chris, any parting thoughts for your coach? I'm ready to work, coach. That's all I got to um, say. I can't wait to. And, uh, and, and again, I want to congratulate, congratulate his mom, Sharita and his dad, Chris Sr., and his little yeah, sister, okay. Corey. They've been awesome every step of the way. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Coach, for joining us, and good luck tonight.